Hey guys, welcome to another video on Brand Device where we talk about business and finance. My name is Bharat, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the bank which is right now offering 50 euro sign up bonus and what exactly are the conditions coming up with it and what kind of other things you have to watch out for. I personally really believe in diversifying your banks. For example, I have my bank account right now at N26. I have one on Wise, so which is TransferWise previously. That is a personal account and also a business account. Both of them are with Wise. Then I have another private account with Revolut. I also really like the service, but not so much for the business side. Then I have my business and personal account with Libra Bank, which is a local bank in Romania. So for me, it is very important that I'm staying under the 100,000 euros of limit with all of these banks. And with some of these banks, I will have to stay under 50,000 euros from 1st August 2021, because otherwise they're going to start charging 0.5% per annum of interest rate. That's why I generally like to diversify. This also means that if your bank is going bankrupt or something, you're still getting up to 100,000 euros back from the state. So of course, you don't get more money than you actually had in the bank account. You only get the money that was there. And if it was below 100,000 euros, you will get that directly from the state. So that is also not going to be a huge problem. But it is very important if you're earning a lot of money that you're diversifying your bank accounts. There are a lot of like, you know, interesting bank options right now out there. I personally believe that WISE is really not a bad option as long as you're not trading cryptocurrency and stuff because I see that like they can have problems with that too. But otherwise for business and private, it's great. Revolut is also fine, but I have seen people getting their accounts or transactions blocked. So that is also not a very nice option in my opinion. If you are doing something more, let's say, out of the norms than just like, you know, generally taking and sending money. That's why I believe having more established and traditional banks is not a bad option at all. Just to have a separate account running there so that if you're trading cryptocurrency or something, your account doesn't get blocked out of the blue and you have no contact at all to the bank. If here something happens, for example, with Spark, the Commerce Bank, Fox Bank, whatsoever, you can still go and you can talk to them. But the problem with banks like N26, uh, Revolut, TransferWise, I'm not having so much problems with because their customer support is very helpful and reliable. So I think like they are still better there. But N26 and Revolut, I think the problem with them is that if the account gets blocked, you have no real way of contacting them. So this is the reason in this video, I wanted to discuss Commerzbank with you because they are having some very interesting options out there. For this, I'm going to take you to the screen to read you out what kind of options they're having and the sign up bonus and the 100 euro referral bonus they're having for every new person that you bring. Before going into this, I already have to warn you that if you're living in Germany, the income that you can make from Zonda Einkünfte or side businesses without registering a business is only 256 euros in a year and earning money with referral is going to be considered as Zonda Einkünfte or other income. Yeah, I think that would be a better translation. So very important thing, 256 euros, keep this in mind. No? So let's jump to the screen now. If you see here, you can uh, go to the link given in the description. From that, you will come to kostenloses Giro Konto, viele Möglichkeiten. So essentially like it's free, you don't have any kind of monthly cost as long as at least 700 euros per month is coming into your bank account. So this is also going to be relevant for the students who are getting the money from their blocked account. For full-time employees, this is anyways not a problem at all. So here, if you see you're having the Giro card, so you can still use it in different kind of, you know, small shops and stuff. You have online and mobile banking. And I actually saw the ratings on the app store. It is really not bad at all. Then you have unlimited free money deposit at the Commerce Bank ATMs. You have 24 seven free customer support, which is also very nice. Or you can like go to the local branch and you can like discuss things there. Of course, Apple Pay and Google Pay is also there. You also have unlimited free money withdrawal from almost 9,000 plus ATMs. So this is one place where I find commerce banks offering better than N26 and Vivid Money or all of the other, let's say, new banks out there. With N26, you have a specific limit that you cannot withdraw more than this amount of money in a month from your N26 bank account, which is a major limitation for me. I don't want to have these kind of limitations, but whereas with the Commerce Bank, if you want more cash or something, you can at least directly go to the banks, you can talk to them, and you can get a higher withdrawal amount from them without any kind of major problems. Also, another nice thing is that with N26, for example, you are having, I think, five free withdrawals from ATMs with the 10 euro per month plan, but after that, 
it is going to be chargeable. Whereas with Karmat's bank, you don't have that kind of limitation at all. You can just take out the money as many times as you want. And I find that very interesting, especially if you're living in smaller cities. And like I said, it is very important to always read the fine print. So here they are saying that if you're using it for private purposes and you're having minimum monthly, let's say inflow of 700 euros per month, then it is free. Otherwise it is 10 euros per month. So like I said, 700 euros per month is not dramatic. I think for most of the people, it will be anyways fulfilling that kind of criteria. This is where I find like, you know, having like, I think for people who are poor, it is not very easy to like get easy access to banking and stuff because if you're charging people because they're having lesser money coming inside in their like banks and stuff, 10 euros per month, like what is left in the end? So. I don't know, but if you're having more than that, then of course it is not a problem. You get the 50 euro sign up bonus after three months of active usage. So what is this entire story with 700 euros minimum? Now they are going to check the 700 euros per month of income that is coming to your bank account only after two full months. So you still have enough time to come to Germany to open your account if you're coming new or if you're already here, then you can very easily do it via post ident, video ident or a bunch of other options that they have available. I think signing up for this is also like pretty easy. Just directly clicking on Kostenloser's Jiro Konto Eröffnen. And then afterwards you have the standard form that you have seen with so many other providers with Scalable Capital, with Trade Republic, with N26, any of the banks and stuff, they generally have the standard form formula where they pretty much talk about your personal details first your nationality and so on then they talk about your address what are you working as then your contact details your account if you want to open a depot you can also do it directly in the same app which is also very nice but like i said i'm not a huge fan of having everything at one single place their depot doesn't have the same kind of advantages like you have with scalable capital so that's why i would say if you're like opening your depot i would keep it separately on scalable capital if you urgently need to buy something then of course you can buy it on Commerzbank, but otherwise like i said scalable capital is a much better option so that's pretty much it then you will have some kind of like you know details that you will have to go through and then in the end is the legitimation process so you either do the video ident or the post ident that is like very nice that you're also able to do all of that directly from the comfort of your home so that's pretty much it this is the bank account which is offering 50 euro sign up bonus i have diversified my private and business accounts and i think you should do the same in case one of the bank goes bust you have your money lying across different kind of places where you can have easier access to them. If you have any kind of questions whatsoever, let me know in the comment section below. If you have some kind of doubts which you want to discuss on a one-on-one -on -one call, I also offer appointments for that. The link for that you can find in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.